Okay, who's first? Do you have any idea the uh, possibility of permanent director was possible? Not really, no, sir. Uh, I talked with uh, Chairman Hill and the uh, personnel committee, and I expect to be, uh, to be in the uh, directorship to that degree. It turned out, turned out a little different. Do you feel like this will help you do your job better, knowing that you're in the spot permanently? Yeah, I thought about it sitting there, and I, I, I listened to some of the remarks that Daryl Tackle made, and uh, started making sense, more sense to me. And uh, there's a whole lot of decisions that need to be made out here all the time, and in a very timely manner, especially with. Uh, the top of the mass that's been collapsing in, in the last uh, week and uh, just all the problems that that can cause in the neighborhood and things that uh, decisions need to be made uh, in a timely manner, like I said, very fast sometimes. We're still in a dangerous situation there. Yes, we are. Uh, the, the whole the material down there that's left is, is slowly creeping out in all directions. And uh, I haven't had a chance to get down today to see what's been going on, but I was at the top this morning early about 7 o'clock and observed the contractor removing some of the material from the top and hopefully that will relieve some of the pressure to where we don't have any more issues once we get this uh, last bit of material off the toe of the slope for we'll to get the creek cleaned out and not have any flooding issues and put it to danger, the neighborhood in any more danger. What's the morale? I think the morale, the, the employees are good. Uh, Yeager Airport has great employees. I think everybody's just getting a little tired, uh, but we're all together and uh, I expect us all to work together, move forward together, and uh, I think uh, hopefully can someday get back to just running a normal operation around here where you just where you have an, an occasional air, aircraft emergency, which uh, we haven't had for a while, thankfully, and on top of all of this. As director, what do we need to actually sit here and take to handle the slip over there, to continue to handle the slip over there? Uh, for me, I'm going to rely on the experts. I rely on the uh, engineers and their advice and uh, the contractors' input to uh, see what we need to do to, to move forward with the project to get this stuff off to keep everyone safe. You're doing some work down at the bottom today, too, aren't you, to get some of that stuff out of the creek, at least a little bit of it? Yeah, if you go out the door here, you'll see the DEP gentlemen are here, and uh, they've been here, and uh, we're trying to stay in compliance with everything. We reported this as an upset and spill that occurred yesterday where the uh, material, uh, for lack of a better term, creeped into uh, Elk Two Mile Creek. And, uh, so they're here to make sure everything's being done in a proper manner, and I think we have, and we don't expect any issues with that. You mentioned possible, more possible evacuations. What's the status on that? Well, I think I mentioned more possible buyouts, maybe. And, and if we have issues, the number of people that need to be evacuated has uh, certainly been reduced because of all the buyouts we've made. There's, there's a few houses that are still close to the uh, area of the creek that uh, we want to make sure we can get those people out of there.